Information that you add here is used for your invoices to practices and on your pension forms. On this large screen on the left hand side, these payment details are going to go on your invoices and on the right hand side there's your pension scheme information. Starting with your invoice details. The invoice prefix is entirely optional. It's a five character reference that you can choose to add as a prefix before your invoice numbers. It personalises the invoice number into a reference that can help practice managers recognise your invoices. Your practising name is the name that will appear at the top of the invoice. As a default, the name you registered with when you joined Locumdeck is used, but you can amend it as needed. As a default, we also assume that you're a self-employed person, but you can toggle to become a limited company. Payment terms are the number of days by which the practice must pay you. So it sets the due dates on your invoice and you can see alerts when your payments are late. Payment method. Well, checks are really being phased out, so most people now choose bank transfer. And having done that, you can then add the bank details that you want to appear on your invoice so the practice knows where they're sending payments. If you've completed your invoice information on the left hand side, but don't have all your pension information to hand, don't worry. Select I'm not in the pension scheme and then click save. You can come back and add it all later. And we have a short separate video on how to add your pension information. So this is a test doctor who's further along in setup and it's to show you that after you've saved your invoice information, a new button appears called add another trading entity. So if you do have more than one trading entity, click this. You can set the name, the type, all your payment terms and details. And down here, there's an optional footer. And if you have a limited company, this is a good place to add your company registration details. Once you've created another entity, you can toggle between them using this drop down, and it changes the details shown. If you need to edit, just select the entity concerned and click this edit button.